Yo, what's going on, guys? And Tyrell Terry retired. And I'm a guy who oh, I don't I don't really talk about sad stuff or anything, but Tyrell Ty Terry retired over his IED, and he was actually one of my favorite prospects in the 2020 NBA draft coming out of Stanford. I mean, the guy set up. He's been a winner across you know his career. He comes from a good family and born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He's a guy who worked his way up to being able. He actually played alongside Matthew Hurt and Zeke Nanji in high school. And he went to Stanford. Okay. And it's crazy to think about that. He made the Pac-12 all freshman team with five-star recruits like Josh Green, Isaiah Mobley, CJ Walker, and Jaden McDaniels. And I think that, you know, Tyrell Terry was awesome. He graduated from Stanford. You can always go back to Stanford. Smart guy. I mean, if you go to Stanford, that's basically like a Ivy League on the West Coast. It's like one of the best schools out there. And he was a winner, very high IQ basketball player. And he retired because of anxiety. He said he was waking up nauseous. My girlfriend suffers from really bad anxiety and my my mother has anxiety. So I'm personally, I don't have any anxiety or, or stress or anything like that. It's actually sometimes really scary because I don't get anxious like ever. Like I get nervous, but I don't ever get anxious. Like I've been, I've been anxious once in my life and it was due from stress and I went to the doctor and they literally told me just to go to sleep and it's because I only sleep two hours a night, three hours a night. But I I want to talk about what I really liked about Terry. I thought he was a guy who could become a really big part of, you know, some winning teams as a backup point guard, as a high level backup point guard. I genuinely thought he was an elite shooter. I thought he was a terrific decision maker who processed the game at a really high level. He showed that he was a very high level competitor, especially because of his size. And I think you saw that Stanford got a lot better because Tyrell Terry replaced Casey Okapala and they got better terry's a winner and again i don't think he was a lead guard he was gonna ever be a lead guard or a top offensive initiator in the nba do this questions out his size but he was a guy that could be like a steve kerr a modern day steve kerr you know steve kerr came into the nba out of arizona super skinny like this guy that you know obviously i was not alive when steve kerr came out of arizona but hearing the articles and reading, you know, I read Phil Jackson's book. I, you know, I'm right now reading David Halberstam's Breaks of the Game. And in just in stories, you've heard about Steve Kerr, who was a guy when he came out of college, super high skill level for a shooter, clearly a basketball genius, but he was a smaller guy. So for me, Tyrell Terry was a guy that I wasn't surprised that he'd get into the first round. He was the first pick of the second round. Whatever his endeavors are, I hope he has success in them. And a little another story. So, I know, you know, anxiety is a crazy thing, and it takes over your life, and we've seen guys like DeMar DeRozan, Kevin Love go through their struggles, and Tyrell Taylor really has intrusive thoughts and stuff like that. I got a friend, well, my best friend in college, we lived together last year, he was from Dallas, he just graduated, he actually works for the Dallas Cowboys now doing payroll, and he, out, coming out of college, he played with like Jalen Wilson, RJ Hampton, RJ Nemhard, a few other guys coming out of Texas. And my boy had offers to Central Arkansas. His best offer was to Dartmouth. And little white boy. And not little white boy, I mean he was like 6'1. One. one of the best basketball players I've ever seen. He could have gone to Dartmouth and he was gonna take the Dartmouth offer and then they ghosted him. And then he found out that's they were also recruiting someone who's high, you know higher ranked than him. And that guy wasn't supposed to go to Dartmouth. I think he was supposed to go to like Georgia Tech, but then he ended up going to Dartmouth. So they just ghosted him because I guess he must have been the backup. Like if this guy had gone to Georgia Tech, I mean, yeah, Georgia Tech, they would have probably taken my boy. But, but the guy ended up passing up Georgia Tech and going to Dartmouth. So they just ghosted my boy. And my boy decided, I know Central Arkansas is where Scotty Pippen went, but my boy like sat down and he was like, okay, I got, a, I got an academic, you know, half scholarship to go to the University of Kansas. And he took the, he did that because he said at that point in his life, he did think about the mental aspect of it, that he didn't think he would mentally fare well, you know, being somewhere like Central Arkansas. He thought Dartmouth, he could do it, you know, because he was getting an education. And it just, it's like that. I understand that. Like my, my boys, he would go to the gym all four years or five years from the ages of 13 to 18, he got the gym to his high school keys and put up a thousand shots every morning. And when he was in high school, he said he had to make 80% of a thousand threes just to have a green light during a game. So 
It's crazy.